Hey, what's up guys? Patrick here. Moving on with the test, we got two other expressions to factor. So starting off with this one, we got 9y squared minus 9x squared plus 30x minus 25. So usually when you have four terms, it's going to be one of three things. You're either going to have to do it by grouping, factor it by grouping, or you're going to have to do one by three factoring or three by one factoring. Now, in this case, notice if we try to factor it by grouping, it's not really going to work out because we could take out a nine from these two. And then we could take out a five from these two. But then notice that this bracket, this bracket, they don't really relate. So by grouping is not going to work. But notice that these three factors here, or these three terms here rather, they're sort of like a um, trinomial, nine x, uh, negative nine x squared plus 30 x minus 25. And then we got this nine y squared here. So let's try one by three factoring, which we went over in the lecture videos. If you didn't go over that, I highly recommend you do before watching this because I go over it a lot more detail, the steps I explain a little bit deeper in the lecture videos. This one I'm going to go through a little faster. So what you do, if you remember, is uh, you factor out a negative from these three terms. So you got to put them in brackets. So you'd be left with 9x squared minus 30x. Uh, plus 25. Right, so I took out a negative from these three terms and basically all of the signs changed. And then what happens is if you factor this here, this is actually going to be a perfect square trinomial. So this will factor into 3x minus 5 squared. It's going to factor into 3x minus 5 times 3x minus 5, which ends up being 3x minus 5 squared. And then from here, notice how this is a difference of squares. This is like, uh, if you remember, a squared minus b squared is equal to a minus b, a plus b. Well, this whole term here is like the a squared, and then this whole term here is like the b squared. So it's going to factor into two brackets. So the square root of 9y squared is just 3y. So that's going to go here. That's going to be like the a there. And then we're going to be subtracting the b. What's the square root of 3x minus 5 squared? Well, just this uh, power of 2 would go away, and we'd be left with 3x minus 5. But that 3x minus 5 has to go in brackets. You're subtracting that b value. And this whole thing is that b value. So you got to put it in brackets. And then plus bracket 3x minus 5. Here, the bracket doesn't matter as much because this plus here is going to make the bracket go away anyway. But this negative here has to be distributed in the bracket. So just be careful with that. I went over a bunch of examples in the lecture videos. So again, highly recommend you review those if it's been a while. So this here, you could simplify 3y minus 3x plus 5. And then this here, this is just plus 1, so this bracket would go away and the terms would stay the same, right? So we took this, factored it into these two brackets. And you could check your answer if you were to expand all of this, foil it all out, simplify all the like terms, you would end up with that right there. Okay, number two, we got uh, 64 minus nine bracket two x plus five squared. Well, notice that this is already in this sort of format. So this is going to be a difference of squares. So um, you can factor this into two brackets. Square root of 64 is uh, 8. And then we're going to be subtracting the square root of this. Now the square root of this whole term is the square root of 9, which is 3. And then the square root of 2x plus 5 squared, the power of 2 would go away. So that would just be 2x plus 5 here like that. And then we're going to be adding that same term. 
All right, so it's like uh, a squared minus b squared. This whole term is b squared, so this ends up being like a minus b. That ends up being b, and this is like a plus b, right? If you want to relate it back to that general difference of squares formula. And then uh, from here, all we uh, do is pretty much um, distribute and uh, simplify. So we gotta distribute that three inside the bracket. So we'd be left with eight minus six X uh, minus 15. And then this would be eight plus six X plus 15. So this here, eight minus 15 would give us a negative seven. This would be minus six X. Then this here would be 23 plus 6x. And then if you want to make this look a little nicer, take out a negative. So it'd be 7 plus 6x. 23 plus 6x. All right, so that's the final answer. Another thing you could have done is you could have expanded all of this, right? So 2x plus 5 times 2x, uh, 2x plus 5, foil it out, distribute that negative 9 in, simplify all the like terms, you would end up with a trinomial then you could factor the trinomial into this. But if you could recognize that this is a difference of squares, I feel like these steps are a lot easier.